Thanks for joining us today as we continue our discussion on the human body. Mm-hmm. First Corinthians 620 tells us to honor God and bring glory to him in our body. The level of health in our spirit, soul, and body will impact our ability to glorify God mm-hmm. in and through our body. We see in Romans 4 that Abram was a hundred years old and considered his body as good as dead, along with his wife Sarah, who was barren. But God, he was able to be glorified in and through their bodies by giving them a child, even though physically it was an impossibility. Mm -hmm. In the Amplified Version, it says Abram was empowered by faith in God. God is able to be glorified and even do miracles in and through our bodies Mm -hmm. when we access by faith the power and wisdom of the Spirit by aligning and submitting our body, soul, and spirit under the direction of the Holy Spirit. The soul and the body are required to communicate and accomplish the things of the Spirit on earth. Wholeness and health are needed for us to be more effective in communicating Mm -hmm. God's heart and to be conduits through which God's kingdom and all its attributes like love, joy, Mm -hmm. peace, even healing can be transmitted through our physical presence. Amen. So we want to talk for a little bit about some ways we can care for our body, the temple of God's spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, improper use of food led to the fall of mankind, and Mm -hmm. it was even used to tempt Jesus. Oh, yeah. Yes, in the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve acted in disobedience by eating of the tree of knowledge of Mm -hmm. good and evil. They forfeited by their choice to eat food the authority and dominion that have been given to them. Jesus faced the same kind of test with food in the wilderness when he became intensely hungry. But unlike Eve, when Satan tempted him, he refused to turn the stones into bread and eat. And as a result, Jesus was able to regain by not eating the dominion Adam and Eve lost by eating. Yes. And for Samuel Samuel, uh, 30, 12, we see the young Egyptians who was physically sick, but was Mm -hmm. revived in his spirit and became well when he was given food. It says the word of God, and they gave him a piece of fig cake and two clusters of raisins. And he ate, then his spirit revived, Mm -hmm. for he had not eaten bread or drunk water for three days and three nights. You know, in 1 Kings 19, Elijah was so hungry, he literally prayed to die. But we see later in the chapter that food and rest revived his spirit and gave him the emotional strength to go forward and the physical strength to walk 40 days to his next Mm -hmm. destination. In this case... Food and rest gave him spiritual, emotional, and physical strength. Food can be a a powerful tool for the health or destruction of our bodies. Mm -hmm. When we eat food that have come from healthy living sources, they will provide health to our body and strength to our spiritual as well. Mm -hmm. We see in Judges 15 that Samson, after he slayed a thousand men, became very thirsty. So he cried out to the Lord and he said, You've given this great deliverance by your hand to me, and now shall I die of thirst? Mm -hmm. And then God split the hollow place, and the water came out, and he drank. And the word says, His spirit returned, and he was revived. Mm -hmm. Adequate amounts of healthy food and clean drinking water are important for the health of our spirit, soul, and body. Physical food and drink uh, can impact mm-hmm. our spiritual uh, either positively, positively. or negatively. Mm-hmm. When we eat food that have come from healthy living sources such as fruits, vegetables, uh, nuts and seeds, their nutrients will provide health to our body and strength to our spirit as well. Yeah, on the other hand, if we choose to eat foods that have no vibrancy or life, Mm -hmm. the life has been removed from them. Things that are processed and refined, such as sugar and flour, um, maybe dairy from pasteurized milk, then those dead nutrients will drag down our immune Mm -hmm. system that can inflame our body, which can also negatively affect our soul and spirit. Mm -hmm. When our body does not have the nutrition it needs or it's overloaded by food sensitivities, environmental toxins, the tissues, the organs and systems that are designed to keep our body working at an optimal level are depleted, inflamed, infected, and broken down, which causes dis-ease in our soul and our body. Mm -hmm. These physical issues can affect our soul 
confusing the mind, mm -hmm. weakening the emotions, and limiting the ability to the of the will, the chooser to make wise decisions. Sometimes the intense emotions of past loss or failure and disappointment can get stored in our body's tissues and organs, even our nervous system. And uh, even emotional trauma and things from oh, yeah. past generations mm -hmm. can be stored in our DNA. Yes. You know, that's why when we go to the doctor, they, they ask a history yeah, so the, because there are the things generation. that are passed through the generations. Mm -hmm. Unprocessed negative emotions such as anxiety and fear can cause stress on our physical uh, bodies, which impact immune and brain function, blood sugar, hormone mm -hmm. balance, and much more. Stress from experience in the past or the present, where emotions are or were not per properly dealt with and processed, they can be stored in our body's tissues as well, that stress. Mm -hmm. But we need to remember we have access to the Holy Spirit to instruct us with the wisdom that we need to bring health to our body. Yeah. When we have physical problems, we can seek wisdom from the Spirit and ask mm -hmm. the Lord to reveal if there is there was anything that has happened that would have caused negative emotion to mm -hmm. affect our physical health. Um, it is important for the health of our body and soul that we properly process and manage our emotions. So some of the ways that we can care for our body, as we mentioned, are one diet. The quality of our health has a lot to do with what we're eating. Mm -hmm. Sugar and flour have been proven to be as much as nine times more addictive than cocaine. And they have no nutritive value and can be damaging for the body. Two, drinking plenty of good, uh, clean water mm -hmm. help flush toxins from the body and keep, uh, keep it hydrated so it can function optimally. Remember this uh, short phrase, <laughs> you know, uh, the solution for pollution is delusion. <laughs> <laughs> adequate, adequate sleep and rest are really important to keep our body strong and healthy, like charging the battery on your phone. Mm -hmm. You know, you need to get some sleep and rest too. Yes. And managing stress levels. All types of stress, mental, emotional, and physical have an impact on the health of the body. Also, the health of our emotions and our relationships can affect our physical health. Mm -hmm. Unhealthy emotions and relationships may damage or diminish the health of our body. Exercise and deep breathing are also important. We should get plenty of exercise and make sure we breathe deeply several times a day, mm -hmm. releasing negative stress and emotions and getting plenty of oxygen, oxygen to the cells and organs through deep breathing and exercise. You know, the body was designed to heal itself. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's why when we get a cut, you know, it will heal if we take care of it. Mm -hmm. When it gets what it needs, the body can heal itself. Yes. And there are a multitude of testimonies of people mm -hmm. diagnosed with supposedly non-reversible, irreversible conditions and even life-threatening diseases like cancer yeah. who were able to turn around their health mm -hmm. and be completely healed just by proper diet, mm -hmm. Good clean water, plenty of water, rest, detoxing from physical and emotional toxins mm -hmm. and stress, getting proper rest and deep breathing, along with spiritual and emotional healing. What we eat today, the lifestyle habits we are developing today regarding food, exercise, sleep, rest, water, breathing, toxins, will have a direct effect on our health even 10, 20, or 30 years from now. Mm -hmm. Also, the habit we teach our children today can result in, in future health or difficult struggles with their weight and health in the future. I wish I would have known that about 20 years mm -hmm. ago. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Every day we make decisions to be mm -hmm. in a process of repair or disrepair in our body. Remember, in another class we learn our decisions today determine tomorrow. Mm -hmm. yeah. By not making intentional decisions to be healthy in these areas, we are making the decision to weaken or go backwards in our health rather than progressing. And sooner or later, we'll reap what we sow. Mm -hmm. As we mentioned in the beginning of this video, 1 Corinthians 6.20 tells us to honor God and bring glory to Him in our body. This is not a suggestion. It is a command. Mm -hmm. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And if you do not take care of it, over time, it will break down. Yes, we definitely feel strongly about this topic. And we wanted to share with you and give you a reminder of just a few important things 
that you can do to care for your body. There's so much information about the health of the body and you can find a lot of things online. Mm -hmm. You know, we just want to bring an awareness of how important it is that you take care of your body. I will see you in the next portion where we will talk more about the human body.